Bonjour, um, Louie Loose Lips here, aka Housewife of Brittany. Now, I'm going to show you beautiful people how to be a good housewife. So basically how to give your husband a lot of respect and how to do the baking at home. Because there's too many lazy wives out there who are sitting at home watching Netflix all, all day, on the doll and not working. Well, in my opinion, if you're not working, you should be, have some respect for your husband and you should be a good housewife. So men, get them in the kitchen and get them cooking. So I'm going to start with something very basic today, which is um, just a very nice short crust pastry. Um, start off with little basic things. Now the key to a man's heart is not through, well I can't say um, because it's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's not appropriate, but it's through the stomach, of course. If you feed them well, they're gonna stay home. They're not gonna cheat on you, are they, fellas? So, um, okay. So, the, what you'll need is, I'm going to show you the ingredients I've got here. So, I've got um, about 120 grams of uh, butter. Um, so, that's full fat, full salt butter. Um, and plain flour, about 170 grams of plain flour. And really cold, cold water and the egg for later. Now, the key is to a good, good short crust pastry. It should taste very buttery, um, and the butter's gotta be very cold, and you should never use the palm of your hands, or use your hands as least as possible, cause it's the heat that ruins the pastry, um, or the dough, shall I say. Um, so yeah, so what you do is you get yourself a mixing bowl, which I probably should have already had out. Here we go. Voila. So I've got my mixing bowl um, and you add your butter, like so, and your flour. Okay. Now, to start off, what you need to do is you need to get your filthy, filthy hands in there and you need to rub the butter into the flour um, like this, like so, um, until you till it forms um, like breadcrumbs, basically. Um, I know I said before you don't use your hands, but that's after the breadcrumbs are done and after the dough is formed, you don't, don't use your hands then once the cold water's been in there. Um, so yeah, so that's just what I'm doing now. I'm just rubbing it all together with my fingers because I'm very good with my hands, um, of course. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Rub a dub dub. Get it all in there. Get your hands in there. Get your fingers in there. It feels disgusting and slimy. But there you go. It's going to be a lovely, lovely pastry. So you can use this to make pies um, and and things like that, and pasties, um, if all you fat fuckers out there like pasties like me. Um, so yeah, so everything like that. Right, okay, so it's giving it a good rub. You can also... Um, Freeze it also, um, you know, uh, and use it for later on, um, which I prefer not to do because I prefer fresh, um, fresh, fresh pastry. It's one of my husband's um, favorite dishes as pies. Is, is my pies? You know, we all have our of our favourite foods, but yeah, he particularly likes my pies, um, and now because I'm a vegetarian, I, I I make vegetable pies, which are just as tasty, and the stock I use is vegetable stock rather than beef stock and, and whatnot, and it's just as tasty. So here we go, I've got um, my sort of breadcrumbs formed here, I'll just give me hands a quick wash in the sink, as you know. The one fingers. Of course. So here we go. So that is what it looks like. Breadcrumbs. What you do is shake it, and all the lumps will come to the surface. Then you can re, re um, do it with your fingers for more breadcrumbs and make it a bit finer. Okay. So I've got that there. So what you do now is you get your cold water, 
and well no you don't touch these excuse me you make a little well with your finger in the mixing bowl like that okay and what you need is a flat cold knife so you pour some cold water into the well like so and then you get your cold knife and you mix it, mix it, mix it. So I'll just show you here, you just mix it, mix it, mix it until it starts to form a dough. Add more water as needed, but be careful. You don't want to get it too wet. Um, yeah, so just like that. So I'm giving it a good mix around. Like so. Uh, so there you go. So I've got another little trick um, to make really crumbly, tasty um, pastry, and not many people do this. It's add a so I, you mix an egg in a separate bowl. Um, so you mix it all together. And you add a little bit to the mixture with the water. And that makes a really nice, tasty, tasty, tasty um, pastry. Um, like I say, if you make it like this, you can't go wrong, really. You, you will like it. Uh, or your whole house, or your wife, or your husband will like it, shall I say. Um, so there we are. So um, it's starting to form together. There we are. So we have our pastry nearly ready. Like so. So you just get the tips of your fingers now, you don't put your hands in because you don't want to get the pastry warm at this point because it's nice and cold and cool. So you just use your tips of your fingers to knead, add, add more water as, as required of course. There we go. Uh, voila, so that's it. So now the dough is ready. It should look like this. Um, and now what you can do uh, is you can cling it, which I recommend cling it stops it from rising and whatnot. Um, so you get your cling film like this. And let me just try and get the fucking end. Um, so yeah, and you cling it, and um, so there you go, so there you've got, um, that's where it's been refrigerated, so there you've got some lovely short cr crust pastry which will make lovely pies and pasties and, and anything with pastry really, um, so yeah, so just, so we'll just start off on the little easy things to cook for all you thick bastards out there. Um, so yeah, there you go. Short crust pastry. Enjoy. Bon appetit.